time to uh, fire up this C7 Corvette. I'll be ready. Let's go. Now, I wish you could be sitting where I'm sitting because I can tell you right now, my bottom is happy as can be. I love this car. Um, received a lot of emails from you guys. Appreciate that, asking us to do a demo in this car. Now, as I've said before, in Australia, these are very hard to get. Uh, there are not a lot of them. And this one is just beautiful. Now, the fact that of course that it's canary yellow certainly does help for the attraction of the vehicle um, very comfortable in the seats I feel like they've they've wrapped around me I feel very safe in this car get it out on the road oh. <laughs> I am in Corvette heaven right now this is definitely one of my favorite Corvettes of all of the Corvettes um, you know, these uh, seven generation Corvettes are just magnificent and, and, and my hat goes off to Chevy and they've just put something together here that it'll rival any Ferrari, any Lamborghini on the road. I know that there are Lamborghini and Ferrari owners watching right now that will uh, go up in arms with that statement, but hey, so be it. Uh, this thing is magnificent. We'll give it a bit of a squirt up here. Damn, if that isn't better than sex, I can tell you, and the car people that are watching right now know exactly what I'm talking about. You know, there is no greater sensation to have a powerful engine uh, under your right foot. So with the look of these vehicles, they had a, a much more angular and aggressive design compared to the predecessor, the, the uh, C6. Uh, more of a pronounced front grille, slim headlights. Uh, sculpted body just beautiful to look at from any angle you can look at this car and just just uh, sit in awe and appreciate this thing um, of course they've kept the iconic long hood on the vehicle with the short rear deck uh, the proportions are just fantastic on this car um, now these ones are equipped with a 6.2 liter v8 uh, these produce these produce 455 horsepower these stock ones here with 460 pound of torque. Uh, Chevrolet did offer other ones, of course, that uh, produced 460, but this one is the, the 455 horse. Uh, the transmission on these, look, they did come out a manual. This one is a six-speed automatic transmission, but it does have the paddle shifts on it. So you obviously can become more immersed in the feeling of the car when you're driving it in its manual mode with the paddle shifts. Corvette had a very driver and focused interior in these with, uh, I can say, thankfully, very high quality materials. Now, of course, if you go back to the previous generation, one of the complaints was that the material wasn't as nice as maybe it should have been. They certainly upped their game with this car, um, giving you just some lovely material, the dash, the seats, uh, everything was just put in the right place and just of high quality. Then of course your displays are fantastic with your uh, inner display, your screen that you can go through all your settings, um, your radio and so forth, Bluetooth, and then of course that magnificent dash that uh, you can interchange with the menu uh, with different modes such as race mode and so forth. Now these uh, later models incorporated some fantastic technology including performance traction management system, uh, help you keep this beast on the road, uh, launch control which is a must for any rev head, uh, the magnetic ride control and electronically controlled rear differential. You know these systems aided in optimizing the performance and uh, of course the handling characteristics of this car are just unbelievable. Now the performance of this car um, zero to 60 miles an hour or 100 kilometers an hour if you are living in Australia uh, 3.6 seconds um, top speed of this car is rated out at uh, 190 miles an hour which is uh, 300 odd kilometers an hour here in Australia I mean <laughs> we're talking some major supercar 
performance numbers with this vehicle. And, you know, as I say with every Corvette that I present, it's a lot of car for the dollars. It's a lot of car for the dollars. And, you know, Chevy just excelled when they, when they pieced this thing together. You know, there's a lot of technology in this vehicle, and if, if you're lucky to own one, excuse me while I give myself just a bit of a thrill there. If you're lucky to own one of these things, you're going to keep it. You know, you're going to enjoy it, and you're going to enjoy it on a daily basis. And that's one of the things about this vehicle is this is a daily driver. To have to have a vehicle with such amazing performance, to be able to get in it and take it to work each day, or you know, obviously go for a weekend away, or drive it to the countryside. I mean, this is what this car is. It is a daily driver. You know, it's it's just one of those cars that, you know, you know you bought the right car when you park it at night after driving it all day and you're about to go inside and then you take one more look behind you to take another gander at it, you've got the right car. Just thrilling. Absolutely thrilling obviously up to the speed limit but not even touching the accelerator and that 455 horses under there they're growling there's no winnering going they're growling you know, they're just saying please let me out let me out <laughs> which of course we won't do <laughs> uh, we want to uh, we want to keep our driver's license Overall, if I, if I was one of these people that would give scores on cars, I'd give this a 9 out of 10. I don't think you can get a 10 out of 10, but I'd give it a 9 out of 10. If you like what we do here, if you like the cars that we present, please remember to subscribe to our channel. Uh, click that like button. Obviously, the more people that do that, the more people that get to experience these videos. I love bringing them to you. Uh, I believe I have the best profession in the world where I get to drive some amazing vehicles. And, and then while I'm experiencing them, I can hopefully then share some of that passion back to you. Um, we enjoy all the correspondence. Feel free to write to us. If you are interested in this vehicle, uh, please go to our website at www.uniquecardealer.com.au. Uh, there you'll find this vehicle and all the other vehicles that we represent. We are a sell on behalf dealer. We are the preeminent classic car, unique car dealership on the Gold Coast in Queensland here in Australia. Um, if you uh, want to contact us, all of our details are there. Our address is 170 Brisbane Road, Arundel. Um, you will find us opposite Harbour Town Shopping Centre, which is one of the large shopping centres here on the coast, so we're very easy to find.